Cochrane intervention reviews are based on the comparison of two interventions. Studies will be analyzed as two-way comparisons, for example, X versus control or X versus Y. The comparison table has a maximum of three levels. The first level is comparisons, the second level is their outcomes, and the third level is subgroups of the outcomes. Once you have described your included studies, you can begin analyzing the results. The first step in analyzing data in RevMan is to enter a comparison, describing the intervention and what it is being compared to. Reviews may include one or more comparisons. For each comparison, the next step is to enter the outcome to be measured. In the example today, I will use headache as an outcome. Go back to your RevMan. In the Outline pane, select Data and Analysis. Click the Add Comparison button on the Outline pane toolbar. This will open the New Comparison Wizard. Enter the name of your comparison. Caffeinated versus decaffeinated coffee. Click on Next. You have three choices at this stage. You can either do nothing and click on Finish, in which case Revman will create this comparison for you. Alternatively, you can add a second comparison. But in today's example, we are going to add a outcome under that new comparison. Select the second option and click on Continue. The wizard will ask you to enter the type of outcome you wish to create. In this example, headache is a dichotomous outcome, meaning there are only two possible results, headache or no headache. Therefore, I would select on dichotomous and click on Next. When the new page appears, I will enter the name of the outcome in this box, headache and update the group label to be caffeinated group and decaffeinated group. Click on Next to move on. This is where you select the statistical methods Revman will use to analyze the outcomes. In this tutorial, I'm just going to use the default. Click on Next. This page allows you to select the analysis detail that you wish to use. Again, I'm going to go with the default options. Click on Next. This is where you can update your graph label. I wish the left graph label to be the caffeinated group and the right graph label to be the decaffeinated group. I'll leave the scale to 100 and sort the graph by study ID. Click on Next. We're almost there. In this new page, you can either do nothing and click on Finish, in which case RevMan will create the new outcome for you. But I wish to add a study data for this new outcome. So I click on the Add Study Data for the new outcome and click on Continue. All of the studies included in your review will show up in this new window. Select on the ones that you wish to include in this particular outcome and click on Finish. This completes the process of creating a comparison, adding an outcome to the comparison, and then adding a study data to the outcome. Let's go back to the outline pane. Expand the Data and Analysis section to reveal the comparison we created. Expand that to reveal the outcome and expand the outcome to see the studies that we included.